Hello, welcome back to part two of the Sign Blazer uh, overview. Uh, you may recall at the end of part one, I had problems with my recording equipment, so I had to end it where it where it ended. And now we're going to move on to part two, which is really looking at this little button up here, which is for the cutter. So when you click the button for the cutter, you can see that the images we already have within the work area, and even if they're outside of the work area, transfer over. Now you may be sat there thinking, no, it hasn't all gone over, only one bit's gone over. It has actually all gone over. Uh, I'll explain that in just a second. So on this screen here, what we've got is we've got um, a representation of the cutter over here and all these arrows are aiming the way that the vinyl is going to come out of the cutter so as it comes out it would cut this right the way across that piece of um, like vinyl now the reason why only the smiley face is coming up on the screen here is because of the colors when I uh, when we've done the import of the image the image come up in one color and the color for the text is obviously a different color now this is handy if for example say you want to have the text in red and the face in black like that you don't want to be having to cut the face on the red vinyl or the text on the black vinyl because that would just work out as a waste so what you can do is you can highlight them as two different colors and you can come over here and you can see just up here on the top left hand side if you click on the other one it will change over so um, that's quite handy what I'll do is I'll go back I'll make them both black and I'll explain how to set it all up um, there we go so I've got them both black and then we go back to the cutter so what you've got on this screen is you don't have that many options but just up at the top here is the setup so if you click on that it loads up a little menu and at the top you've got the cutter now the cutter I use is the Creation P Cut CT630 and there are other ones which are stored in there so if you're using any of those other ones you just have to click on it and it will it will automatically change it over for you. Output is the port that you plug the cutter into. So I always plug mine into one USB port every single time it goes into exactly the same one. If you put it into any of the other ones it won't work unless you come into this and you then scroll through and you choose a different port to put it into. Um, it can be a right pain in the bum but once you've worked out which port is which, just always plug it in to the same one, it just works out so much easier. Uh, you then got the two options as to how it goes out, it can either go out as like a direct or it can use the cut manager, I just have mine set to the direct. The com, this is what you want to get exactly the same on here as you get it on the cutter. So if you saw the, the video I done for the P cut you will see that I went for all of the options on there and one of the options was for the board rate so I want that to be the same on here as it is on the cutter I want all them to be the same and then it will work so next up we got the uh, the vinyl width now this is set to uh, millimeters I do believe so if we set that up to 600 millimeters which is 60 centimeters which is approximately the rough size that um, it comes through at and the length I've just got it down as 8000 because why not um, I haven't ever had anything which has gone over the length of the vinyl even though I don't no I normally buy them in about 25 meter lengths it doesn't make a lot of difference um, some of the options I can't actually change like the speed of it because the speed is controlled on the cutter itself tile overlap this is where if the if the item to be cut is too large to go onto one width it will come out on the tiles so you will have two sections 
as we've got here, where the hey hey is there, where it cuts through the E, if you want an overlap, you just increase it, and I believe that's still set to millimeters, um, and that will give you an overlap of these, so you're able to line them up exactly right, um, rather than just trying to line them up without any overlap at all. Um, so you've got the uh, advance the page after the job, so it will just advance it on just a little bit further, um, and lots of other little settings in there that you can go in and change if you want. So when you're all done with that, just click OK. And the reason why it's jumped like that is because I've changed the width of the vinyl because um, it was set to quite a slim vinyl now it's set to the 600mm and obviously when we put this in this was only a 6x6 inch square which is roughly 15 centimeters, going on a 600 centimeter, like 60 centimeter wide thing so obviously we can get 4 in ok so I hope you understood all that uh, next up we've got the options down here which are fit to original, just always leave that ticked, rotate across the vinyl. Now if you uncheck that, you can see how it flips around. Now this is the way how it's going to come out of the cutter. So right now the first things that come out at the very top will be the hey hey. But obviously if I uncheck that, it'll, it the first things to come out will be the hey and the start of the face. It all depends how you want it to act chili come out, I just have it set like that because I just find it easier. Okay, next one is mirror. If your vinyl is going to be going on a window, for example, uh, you'd want to click the mirror one, so obviously everything is uh, then all done backwards. So when you stick it up to a window and you look from the outside in, you'll be able to see it as it normally would. And selected only is if we were to just select the hey hey there and then go back to the cutter and then go selected only it only has the hey hey there okay let's just uh, go back to the cutter again. there we go so next up you can change the number of the copies so I said that uh, that was roughly 15 centimeters so we should get four of them in and we do um, on the width so you can just add it in to do more and more and more copies um, we just drop it back down to two again. Okay, or you can choose to fill the area with copies. So that is um, the area I set in the setup one. So width of 600, length of 8,000 is going to fill the whole lot, bosh, with copies. And it will then run and it will just cut them all out for you. Uh, obviously, we don't want that. We don't want 224 copies, we want two. So there we go. Let's get that back. Uh, like I said in the last one, the zoom on this thing's terrible. I hate it. Actually, let's do it this way. Finish and then cut her again. There we go. So now we're back to normal. Right. So next option is the weed option. We are going to weed all, or you can change it. Actually, I will just zoom in on this, just to make it a little bit easier to see. Just move it down. There we go. So the next option is to weed each copy. So if I just click that, and there you go, you can see it's just made a little bit of a gap in between them, and it's put these extra lines in. So when you come to lift up the vinyl, rather than having to weed it around all the smiley faces and the two lots of hey hey, you've got the extra cuts which are going in, so you only have to weed. Um, so the, the vinyl you'll be lifting would only be on each copy and then you've got the option for the easy weed which if we click that you can see it's going around each one of the elements to make it even easier and then if we go for the power weed you can see it's then placing an additional cut through the middle of each one to make it even easier to weed okay so once we've done all that we've chosen how we want it to be done. Um, everything's in there, we're all rigged up, um, we've got the cutter in, we're ready to go, so then we go up here where it says cut! exclamation mark. So we just click on that and it brings up this next little option here. Now where we were talking earlier about the tiles, if your item is too wide to go onto one 
width of the vinyl it will automatically move it over to another tile so you can choose the tiles to cut you can choose to pause in between the two tiles which is quite often handy um, just to be able to check that everything's okay and maybe just leave a little bit more of a gap in between the two tiles so what we would do next is we would just click cut tile and it can't open it because I haven't got the the cutter switched on right now um, because if I was to turn it on you wouldn't be able to hear me because of the fans in it um, we've got the option to skip the tile and we've got the option to cancel and we can also choose to move the cutter to the home or the maximum um, I don't ever touch them I just leave it as it is on the cutter I do all of that on there so the other option we have here is there are times where you can click the cut tile it opens up another screen and there's a little blue bar that goes over from side to side at times it won't work and it won't actually cut so just click the cancel button and try again if it doesn't work maybe change the port you've got it plugged into and try again but other than that that is it um, you do occasionally get errors like this this is one of the um, the problems of it not being updated in that you can't report issues another issue I find is that when you're doing artwork if you highlight it and then you go up to the menu and you click on text that also flings up this error so uh, they can save your work if you want it to be saved you just click yes and it will save everything otherwise you just click no the program will close and then you can just load it back up again and you can go in and I think that is the most ideal time just to be able to say if you have any questions leave them down below I will do my very utmost to answer them if I can't answer them in words I will just put up another video because that would just be the easiest way okay thanks for watching this far